These pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Back to throw, gone. And this is going to be incomplete. Really solid coverage from the current NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Also had an interception in that game a week ago. And it was fun to watch him in practice this week, wasn't it? To see how he understands spacing and when the ball's arriving, which hand to put out in front to try and knock it away. And he just exhibited it on that play. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Call that a 48-yard punt and made even better by a loss on the return. And the Bears take over. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. Room here to run. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 31 yards there and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. you got a chance to rumble. The first carry for C.J. Procise. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, You've kind of hit the jackpot there. Shy of the 40 at the 41. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is Howard on second down. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That good for 19 and a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. 
Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Trubisky with a give to Howard, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. And Parkey's kick is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because he's really not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep him to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. On second down, Kamara, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Third and two, gone. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. 
number three goal and the biggest goal I think is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On the handoff, this is Howard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Trubisky to throw on second. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion, and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 16. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On first down, Scott, and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To throw on second down is gone. Flushed out right. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, here's gone. 
Yeah, he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. this forward only to about the 42 yard line two yards on the carry there it'll be second down they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play This is Kamara, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Field just a yard or two shy of the 40. Call it a gain of 10, and they pick up the first. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run on first down. Scott, and very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Second down, here's Goff. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. It's first and 10 at the 14. From the red zone now, gone. Escaping the pressure right and avoids the contact by sliding. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Hey, 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 he goes it on. 
They'll run it with Kamara. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. From the two now, second and goal. Rick Flair. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. This Bears defense trying to hold on. This is third and goal. carry this is Scott and he is in for the score touchdown New Orleans a great effort there his second touchdown on the season and the Saints are able to cash in for six what's good on the extra point and that makes it a 7-3 lead Lutz now to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Hurry, hurry. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and ten at their 25-yard line. The drive starts with C.J. Procise. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. On second down, Trubisky. Looking deep downfield, and he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time, and it'll bring up third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Go, 
So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Burton. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First and ten, it's Trubisky finding some room at midfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Fifteen yards through the air and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Let's go, let's go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Size. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defense able to get there. Swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not a there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, was it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Move, move, move. On second down, here's Trubisky. Well, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 18, 10. 18, 18. Move, move, move. Man, man, From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, gone. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A very solid gain of 27. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. ground this is Camara and three yards there takes him to the 45 
And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The Saints on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. A shotgun snap for goal. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Camaro. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Second down now, Scott. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Saints on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Here's Gaw. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Camaro. And he's taken down inside the 30. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. Last week, several good performances in the NFC, but he was the conference's offensive player of the week, well over 100 yards. And just the ability to make catches. You know, that gets underplayed sometimes because we're always looking for the move or the big run. And, but catch the football consistently, that racks up the yardage. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Back to the air. Goff on second down. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To the air again. Gone. But he's got Fitzgerald. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half.
Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Goff now looks to throw. That is caught at the seven. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. to his left and he's got it touchdown Saints it's the fullback in the final seconds of the first half and the Saints now add six to their lead that's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here Lux with the extra point and that pushes the lead up to 11 and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a first carry for their fullback. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. Hey, 
Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion, they'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. A big play there out of Kamara. 64 yards on the ground. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On first down, Scott. Showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. quickly here he can fight only to about the four just a gain of a yard there and now it'll be third down okay no score on that play but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long you know they trust him with the football in need of a conversion on third down they had the big play to start the drive not much sense Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This just a 24-yard attempt. And Lutz's kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. And with this deficit... You can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. <laughs> All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. That one goes for 24 yards. So right, one right, play, right. and they're already just shy of midfield. There you, go, we you see it? You see it? Yeah. On the handoff, this is precise. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. out to Howard it's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs would you say this offense is locked in right now they're having no trouble on this drive what is it three plays three first downs yeah you talk about on the march they keep this up they'll get to that end zone real fast
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. On first down, Trubisky. That is incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They go play action with Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. On first down, they run with Howard. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. So they're converging well on the football now. Demario Davis there on the stop. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Third down, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense... They spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. That's fielded in the end zone. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. That's caught at the 25. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. It's a big play there for the Saints. 45 yards. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run. This is Kamara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, Scott. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22 yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. 
In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Running with Camaro. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will get the lead up to 14. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'll run. This is Cannon. He finds an opening past the 40. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They go play action here on first down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Trubisky now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Here's Trubisky to throw. He leads this one for Howard. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Trubisky to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. This will be taken at the 10. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Free yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because he had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They run it again with Kamara. They find some open field here. He's at the 30. 10 for a touchdown. New Orleans. A great play there with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee. Start at the 25. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Howard. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. On the tackle there, Natrell Jamerson out of Wisconsin. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. The Bears on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. Now it's Trubisky. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. First target, first catch at a first down. Run the 
Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release. And they did force the incomplete pass. Here now is second and 10 again from the 41. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Well, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. He's got his man on the crossing route. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Lock it, lock it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Hurry, hurry. Now Trubisky to throw on second. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Trey Hendrickson in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Now Trubisky on third and long. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it is incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Saints will have the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And We've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Right. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On 
Second down now. Scott. That pass the 25 to the 26. A gain of five. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Saints on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and seven. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. First punt, and this is a good kick as well. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. They start out with a run from Procise. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. This is Howard on second down. Treads the tackle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Play action. It's Trubisky. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage. They've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. So here's a first and 10 right, at the 38. Lucky 56. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. They've reached their goal already of winning nine games. Now I think it's time to set some new goals. I agree with you totally. It seems to me that they sold themselves just a little bit short. When every season begins, every team points to 10 wins as the number you have to have to really make a strong push for the playoffs. They're close to that number now. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.